article five deals with general property tax provisions and we have a couple of small provisions an exemption for attached machinery of an electric generation facility in fairmont we have a provision that would allow that if your property changes classification there will be a notice on your valuation notice that it has changed classification a small provision in class rate change for inns that are in small towns that need a little bit of a break we have a provision here that would expand the eligibility for disabled vets to receive a market value exclusion and the expansion would involve that their surviving spouse would be entitled to that market value exclusion for five years should the service member die and secondly then it would also say that if the disabled vet has a primary caregiver and does not have a homestead of his or her own that the primary caregiver would be entitled to receive the market value exclusion there's a provision that would remove regional rail authorities from being a special taxing district the county then is allowed to levy for the rail projects within their county levy limits there is a two-year maintenance of effort suspension we heard a lot about that from the county folks this will really help give them flexibility to spend the revenues they have so and it would not impact any of the areas where they would possibly lose state funding or federal funding in the event of reduction in spending and we also extend that maintenance of effort suspension to cities regarding their their libraries and that's for two years there's a provision that would say that if you are someone who's going to be penalized for a late property tax payment that now all classes of property are treated to the same penalty schedule previously you would be treated differently if you had a different kind of property and then the last piece of article 5 is levy limits and this is I was attached in the Ways and Means Committee but levy limits would be continued these are the same Palenti Lancheski levy limits from the the previous biennium that cities have been used to and of course there there are exceptions to that that are pretty standard at this point so levy limits are are in the bill the renters credit is in the bill it is reduced from 19% to 12% and and then with respect to the the changes in local government aid there's really two get two categories that we're looking at first would be cities of the first class and those are phased out over the four-year time frame so the cities of the first class in the first year of this biennium receive 75% of their pay 2010 amount next year 50% of their pay 2010 amount and then in the remaining the out biennium 25% of their pay 2010 and zero in the last year of the biennium all non first class cities as of 2008 do receive their full certified amount in pay 2011 then from pay 2012 out they receive their pay 2010 amount or whatever they were certified for if if less than that and that's where they they stay at that for the remainder of the the four-year period